Disclaimer. The following is a parody of CinemaSins Everything Wrong With series. If you're unfamiliar with their humor, I suggest you go watch their content first. The intent of this video is for comedy and entertainment purposes only. With this in mind, you should know that the feelings of the creator of this video towards the game in question will not be accurately reflected here. That being said, the creator has no intention of offending anyone involved with the game's creation, its franchise, the game itself, or the people who like the game. Without further ado, thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy. Sonic Mania has multiple save slots and forces doesn't. Holy shit, I haven't even gotten to the cutscenes and I'm already bitching. Uh, this is a first. I don't think I've ever seen narrating text in a Sonic game. Mostly because we've never needed it. No kidding. And there's a rumor going around that old rotten Eggman has been developing some kind of new weapon. So... Yeah. Looks like this won't be your garden variety recon mission. So, who do they work for again? Gun hasn't been a thing for years and they're nowhere to be seen in this game. Omega said the same thing. You two go together like chili and hot dogs. Is that just it? The Sonic characters have no other point of reference for food other than chili dogs? This is E123 Omega. All sensors offline. The damage to parental lobe region. Do robots have parental lobes? I'm not sure that they do. After all, they have processors, not brains. <laughs> the world's most powerful robot is no more a challenge than crap meat. Hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Are we heading into the prequel of a prologue? What the shit? You know you can hear me. Your captain of squad jackal, aren't you? Your squad was useless. If Eggman already has a bunch of robots, why bother with hiring mercenaries? Build a mercenary, you fool! So can Shadow just teleport without the Chaos Emeralds now? Worthless. Don't show your pathetic face around me ever again. Or anyone. Don't ever bother showing us what you look like. Not important, apparently. She's calling me weak. No, I am not weak. I'm... I'm not... I'm not weak. I don't know, you kind of went down like a bitch. Also, you may not be weak, but you sure have either a major ego or huge self-esteem issues if you let something Shadow said get to your head that easily. Did Eggman make the mask? It's at his base. If so, why? I've only become what I am because of you. Yet you don't remember. But I suppose that's the way it goes. It simply means that the old me was too weak. Too pathetic to remember. Dude, you realize Shadow saw you for like less than a minute. Also, you're wearing a fucking mask with a voice modulator! Not even Sonic will be able to stand against me now. What beef does Infinite have with Sonic? He seems to be taking this pretty personally when all Shadow did was beat him up and call him weak. Shadow, not even Sonic. I mean, sure, A for effort, but it's nothing to worry about. We've got the advantage now. Sonic is there too, so I don't think it's a big enough deal for you to head out. Not even Sonic will be able to stand against me now. I can't imagine the Doctor would do something like that without... <sighs> Shadow, this is not good. Hurry, get over there! You just said, no, you literally just said that there was no reason for concern! Sonic, how I hate him. And all of that loathing has been focused into this invincible instrument of destruction! See, it seems like this lead us to believe that Infinite was a creation of Eggman, but he's just a dude with a gemstone. What's so special about him? That he's angry? With this invention, I can expand the Eggman Empire across the globe and conquer the world! Business this time. Uh -huh. Yeah, we thought so too, Orbot. <laughs> Was there really nothing Tails could do about that? Remember when Tails actually did stuff? Behold the power of my ultimate masterpiece! <laughs> uh, huh? Shadow! Oh, they have a glitchy effect, meaning either mind control or copy. Great. This guy is faster than Sonic! Oh, is he? Everyone's about as fast as Sonic. It's not ludicrous to think someone's faster than him. What are you? How are you doing? 
Did you seriously just ask how Chaos, a monster with big ass claws that you know it has, just got your hands in a lock? Nice. Tails, I need to know what's going on with this guy. What difference does it make? Have Tails help you out with beating the shit out of these guys. Wow, Tails did literally nothing to help Sonic. Hell, Tails didn't really do anything about anything in that scene. So, unless Sonic's around, all of his friends, which we know have the same, if not better, abilities in Sonic, are practically useless? Without Sonic, the people are losing hope and giving in to despair. Despair is a luxury we don't have. What the hell is Silver doing here? Isn't he from another dimension or from the future or whatever? We've been hoping for a miracle these past six months, but I'm afraid we have to make our own miracle. Oh, really? So you've been doing fuck all for the past six months. How did you ever come to the conclusion that you maybe needed to do something for yourselves for once? No, yep, that's him, all right. Knuckles, what's the sit rep, Commander? I have nothing against Knuckles. I love Knuckles. But why on earth is he the Commander? Aside from Silver, Knuckles is the most gullible of the bunch. Meet our newest recruit. <laughs> Like much. Oh, I am not about to take shit from a six-year-old bee that doesn't even know what a top-secret disc looks like when they're literally floating all over the stage. Ass. Here, kid, take this. We're depending on you. Why do they just have wispins lying around? None of them use one. I've just received some incredible news. Sonic is alive. Literally in the last scene, literally in the last scene, we were told Sonic might be dead. What was the point of making us think that if in the very next scene you're gonna tell us he's not? At least for the characters, because yeah, we know he's not dead, but there was no point in letting the characters think he was if they were gonna pull this. Hmm, that should have done it. If Omega's been out of commission for months, why the hell has no one come pick him up yet? Whoa, chaos! Sonic, help me! Oh, fuck no. Tails, you fought and defeated Chaos 4. The hell are you scared of Chaos Zero 4? And that was the chaos fight. Nope, I'm serious. We never fight him. Oh, you're that Sonic from another dimension, aren't you? What do you mean, aren't you? Look at him. Of course he's the Sonic from another... Wait, another dimension? I thought classic Sonic was from another time. That's the third fucking time you've done this. Silver, Blaze, and now even fucking Sonic. Speaking of Blaze, where is she? I get the feeling that her fire powers could really come in handy right now. And don't give me that she's taking care of cream crap. Cream should be here too, and even then, she has a mom that can take care of her. You're that Sonic from another dimension, aren't you? Right, 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 that makes sense, I think. No, it doesn't. Give in to your fear. Fully screaming, and I'll let you live. <laughs> So, why'd he let us live? We didn't really flee screaming. They're getting ready to banish him into space. What? You can't be serious! Eggman's been keeping Sonic alive all this time. He's been waiting to show him his completed empire before banishing him. Torturing Sonic just to pass the time? Oh, that's low, even for Eggman. Is it really, though? I mean, the man has been wanting to enslave the world for years, unleashed a water god to destroy the world, tore a hole in the moon, actually broke the world apart at one point, caused a rip in the space-time continuum, and sucked the life force from the planet. But torturing someone? That's going too far? Wow. The end, huh? Let's see you try something now that I'm free! Foolish hedgehog. Getting out of your chains does not make you free. Oh yeah, it does, you idiot. In fact, if you want him to see the end, why would you take off the cuffs? You're just risking him escaping. While on the subject, why even restrain his arms? He barely uses his hands for anything. They should have restrained his ankles so that he wouldn't be able to run. Hell, he doesn't even need his arms to roll into a ball. It's that sound again. The sound is what you're confused about? Not at all the fact that Zavok just disappeared. No, from the looks of things, they had you locked up near the Death Egg. The way I see it, you're actually going toward the Death Egg. Hey, Shadow did it. Sonic, you've been locked up for six months. Why would you ever assume that? We can't take out Eggman's home base in Metropolis if he's got a factory supplying him. No kidding. 
Look, Sonic, I know you just got back, but we're spread thin. Really? Because I gotta ask, what the hell is everyone else doing? Rouge is a spy, Amy's a data processor? Knuckles is the commander, and I don't really know what Silver and the Chaotix are doing. Sonic, you take the lead. Rookie, and just make sure you take good notes. I got six months of payback I'm just dying to spend. This sounds like a good start. You know, for someone who was tortured for six months, Sonic seems perfectly fine. Not beaten up, still cheerful. It's kind of a case of tell and don't show, huh? Metal Gear Sonic. Funny that it's called Double Boost when original the character can't boost at all. So they're building weapons here, huh? Making everyone work like robots. Not gonna lie, everyone around here is a robot, Sonic. I haven't seen any animals working around here. Suddenly, Lyric. Impossible. Abilities exceed your previous data. See, when he says things like that, they lead us to think he's a robot. But as we've seen, he's not. What data? How did you collect said data? The developers knew the fans liked Green Hill, so they put Green Hill inside of Green Hill. It doesn't matter now with the lab locked down in Mystic Jungle. Which reminds me, didn't you run into Sonic there after he escaped? Yes, but he was powerless against me. We beat the snot out of you, you liar. You didn't do shit, Tails. Greetings. I'll conquer the world. Think you can stop me? Nice moves. But if you hog all the glory, how am I gonna look good? Uh, by doing something. Seriously, Vector, what do you even do? Have we met before? Sonic! Wait, what? No, seriously, that's how that cutscene ends, and the other just begins immediately. It's been generations since I've seen you. Oh, brav the f Oh, Sonic. Eggman said when the plan is completed, we'll all be wiped out. I don't like the sound of that. Normally, I just laugh at an Eggman plan. He's already conquered most of the world, so... Yeah, about that. If Eggman's conquered most of the world, why do we only visit, like, four different locations in the whole game? What the heck? The whole army of dead bank robots? Vector, you already knew this from when we played through the stage with original the character. Why do you seem so shocked? So, let me get this straight. The events of Episode Shadow happened a month before Eggman took over, and Sonic was missing for about six months, right? That's what Espio said, or at least implied. That means no one has seen Shadow in seven months, right? Because Rouge was in contact with Shadow and hasn't said shit. So, what the hell has Shadow been doing this past six months? Not helping, clearly, but why? All right, Shadow, what's the deal? Were you legit just about to not do anything about that attack? Chaos control! Ugh. Chaos control! Chaos control! Ugh. Another shadow? What's so weird about another shadow? There's another Sonic. Not to mention all the shadow android. Holy shit, Sonic never knew there were shadow androids. Think about it. He was never told about it in Heroes, and he never saw any of them in Shadow. Replicas. The problem is... According to Rouge, Infinite can create unlimited numbers of them. And Rouge has this intel... how? And she didn't tell the Resistance about it... why? They're probably staging somewhere else as part of Eggman's plan. This could be our only chance to take the city. Exactly. That's why we're focusing on a full frontal assault on Metropolis. I'm calling it... Operation Big Wave. What's important is to have a well-thought-out strategy. I thought up this strategy in about a minute and a half. Oh, that's why you guys lost. Infinite, activate the Phantom Ruby! Make them wish they'd never been born! Stay calm. What you're seeing isn't real. Uh, it feels pretty real, Knuckles. I mean, we're kind of literally running on a ceiling right now. I don't think this is just original the character tripping balls. One flip of the Phantom Ruby switch and everything falls apart on us. The rookie is our only hope now. Knuckles, please think about what you just said. Your most seasoned forces can't deal with this, and your only hope is a rookie. You are a terrible fucking commander. I remember you. You ran from me before. You survived then. But you throw it all away now. Kill me. This will be goodbye. What? 
okay. Here's where I'm gonna bitch about storytelling again, but what's the deal with the Phantom Ruby? Is it one? Is it several? How many are there? In Mania, doesn't Eggman just randomly find it? In Forces, they mention Phantom Ruby prototypes as if Eggman was constructing them. Remember earlier when I asked why Eggman recruited Infinite and the Jackal Squad instead of building his own mercenaries? That's all explained in a comic book. A prequel comic book. Why should I have to consult external media to understand a story? Couldn't you just as easily explain this within the game itself? Episode Shadow practically doesn't explain anything other than the fact that Infinite isn't a robot. If I'm reading a book, I shouldn't have to watch the prequel movie to understand it. There should be a prequel book. That's why movies based on books are called adaptations, because they adapt the original story from the book, usually omitting story elements that you don't need in order to understand the main plot. Sure, sometimes movies get it wrong, but they almost never make the audience ask too many questions since it usually gets explained. I get it, maybe it was a cross-promotion to get people to buy the comic, but it's just poor storytelling of a plot that could have been really, really interesting. Oh, I mean, scene doesn't contain lap dance or whatever. Classic Sonic's Chemical Plan Zone music is just Survivor's Eye of the Tiger. Hold on a sec, while I access the data from this computer. Okay, failed battle plans, robot designs. Wow, he's got like 10 terabytes of selfies. I believe in a world where a blue hedgehog can run as fast as the speed of sound, breathe in space, meet his own self from another dimension, and have both those selves turn yellow and float with superpowers given to them by seven glowing rocks. I do. What I don't believe in is in the fact that Eggman had the time to take enough selfies to fill up 10 terabytes of storage. Do you know how much 10 terabytes are? Around 10,000 gigabytes. That's 10 million, 10 f***ing million megabytes. Let's assume that his selfies are 2 megabytes in size each, on average. That's 5 million selfies. No man can be that vain. The average human lifespan is 27,375 days. That means Eggman had to take at least 183 selfies a day in order to fill up that space, from the day he was born to the day he died. But since he's not dead, he's had to take way more than that. I know Tails was probably being sarcastic, but I did the math just in case. Sonic forces me to math. Found it. Virtual reality weapon. The Phantom Ruby. That takes control of people's visual and depth perception to feed false information to the brain, creating a new reality for them. Like a dream so real, if you bump yourself in it, your sleeping self will bruise? It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe because it doesn't make any sense. It's either there or it's not. It's feeding false information to the brain. That means it's not there, it's not real. But if you're physically getting hurt, that goes beyond people's visual and depth perception. It's not just one person seeing something, it's a bunch of people seeing the same thing that's physically affecting the real world. What you're describing it does and what it's actually doing can't be at the same time. Either it's just affecting people's perception or it's actually there. If all it does is mess with the way people are seeing things, what's the danger? It's not real. But we know it is real because things have been getting destroyed. Oh god, I've gone cross-eyed. Eggman experimented with lots of prototypes and then incorporated the final version into Infinite. I'm reading this data correctly, then there might be a weakness. How so? What you just told us is that Eggman completed the Phantom Ruby. You haven't mentioned anything about a weakness. I don't like sitting on the bench. Funny, because that's what you've been doing this entire f***ing time. Metal Sonic has been spotted in the city. Is it another fake? Why would they bother making a fake out of something that already isn't real? Sonic is right. Hey, that was great. We're like a well-oiled machine fighting a well-oiled machine. Huh? I thought we'd established it wasn't a well-oiled machine, on account of it, you know, not being real. Based on these readings, the Phantom Ruby requires an incredible amount of energy, which only the Death Egg can provide. We simply stop the energy transfer, and boom! The Phantom Ruby is practically useless. Simply? Last I checked, the Death Egg is a heavily fortified, well, Death Egg. Well, to be fair, in the past, all you've needed to do is destroy the Death Egg robot and the Death Egg explodes along with it for some reason. It's been complicated, but never really hard. No Death Egg means the Phantom Ruby is nearly useless. Well, you know, it's just crazy enough to work. So, first we need a distraction. <laughs> I'm on it. No way, Knuckles. You're too easily distracted. That's not a good trait for a distraction. Plus, you're our commander. We kinda need you here. For what? Hasn't anyone kinda noticed Knuckles only comes up with plans that result in people either dying or just overall being defeated? As far as we've seen, none of Knuckles' plans have really worked. Look at Operation Big Wave. How about the rookie? Eggman would never expect it. It may even throw him off a little. 
Why would sending original the character throw off Eggman? Hasn't he been briefed on our involvement? If not, why? We've kind of been aiding in his failure. Good idea. You got your orders, rookie. We only have one more day before Eggman's plan is executed. So let's hustle. We can't let this thing get to the chemical plant. Keep it busy there as long as you can, rookie. So what's the deal with the chemical plant? Didn't Eggman build a chemical plant? If so, why is it still around? The Resistance kind of just accepts it even though it's probably one of Eggman's biggest bases of operations. Almost at the chemical plant. How's the rookie doing with the distraction? So far, so good. We might have to stop using the nickname Rookie if the kid keeps this up. So, do they not even have our name on file? I know it's because they couldn't plausibly incorporate names into cutscenes, but we kind of stopped being a Rookie once we beat Infinite. You know, the guy that no one can beat. Oh, so we found the computer room? Meme achieved, everyone. We can all go home. We can't go home. Hey, the defense system's still up. I thought we shut it down. Probably switched over to auxiliary power. So, I guess you could say the last two zones were completely irrelevant. If Classic Sonic still has to deal with the defense systems and no one has a problem with that, why wasn't that plan A? We went through Green Hill's original the character as a distraction so that Modern Sonic could infiltrate the chemical plant and shut down the Death Egg's defense systems, but the defense systems are still up. What was the point? Those resistance pests and their clever little plots. They're like something on your shoe that you can't wipe off. What the hell is Eggman just doing here out in the open? Doesn't he have the Arsenal Pyramid base still? We never really destroyed it. It appears they've taken our legs right out from under us. Quite impressive, really. I don't have legs. Neither do you, dude. Don't remind me, dude. Orbot and Cubot have no real place in this story. This is like the only scene where they really interact, and you can tell they just had nothing for them to do. Infinite, do it! Take this. What is that? Arr, arr. That, my spiky little frenemy, is null space. Null space? It's a little something that the Phantom Ruby cooked up. God damn it, which is it? Did you make the Phantom Ruby or not? If you made it, how does it just do something on its own? Why does it have random rules? The Phantom Ruby just does whatever the f*** it wants! A closed off space where absolutely nothing exists. And you found out about this... how exactly? I'm assuming experimentation was involved, but how would you know what Null Space is if you haven't gone in yourself? Also, this must be a new development for the Phantom Ruby, otherwise why the f*** wouldn't this be Plan A? Just get rid of Sonic and the Resistance from the get-go, send them to Null Space, and you would have been good to rule the world to your leisure. I'm just saying, if I was Eggman, I would have won! What the hell is Tails even doing here? He hasn't done anything this entire time. If they know Tails would be at risk and they know he won't or for some reason can't fight, why expose him to danger in the first place? But we destroyed the Phantom Ruby's power source. Tisk tisk. Since you always destroy the power source of my weapons, I decided to learn from my mistakes. Only took you 26 years. This isn't where we were meant to end up. Let's head back. Everyone's waiting for us. Double boost! We got this! Keep it up, partner! Nothing can contain the two of us at max power. Not even null space. What's up, everyone? I missed this place. You were literally gone for less than 20 seconds. What happened, Sonic? You two just up and disappeared. Nothing happened. You say that in reference to there being nothing in Null Space, but yeah, literally nothing happened. You got sucked in and then double boosted out. There was no threat. What was even the point of Null Space as a location? Excuse me, the boss? It can't be! It's impossible to get out of the Phantom Ruby's Null Space! Well, maybe by myself, but I had a little help from my friend. Something you wouldn't understand since you don't have any friends. This changes nothing. Dr. Eggman will still have the last laugh. Wasn't the point of the mission to capture Eggman? Sonic and Original the character kind of just let him escape. We just showed up, talked, and did nothing. But when the battle ends, we'll have to part with Sonic. I mean this Sonic, won't we? Which is sad, why? This is exactly what happened last time, too. And he came back. This isn't inherently worrisome at all. Hey, Infinite! Long time no see. Hey, Infinite! Long time no see. 
You literally saw him a few hours ago. You can't just throw that phrase around. Yeah, it's overused in the Sonic series, but at least it was true every time someone said it. Suddenly Omega. There are four of the same dude back here. I didn't know Infinite made copies for our army as well. Control, it's a part of our reality. Which is it? Is it an illusion or is it reality? There's no point in calling the Phantom Ruby's effects illusions if they make real things. The sun will fall upon you all. Boom. The end. You realize it's gonna fall on you too, right? You're just kind of hanging around here for no reason while Infinite makes the sun fall. Also, was this your plan? Is there any particular reason we had to wait three days for this to happen? Also, discount Majora's Mask. You know, just instead of the moon, it's the sun. Look, it's reacting. Eggman said something about the Phantom Ruby prototypes. Let me see. Huh? Whoa, it is. He said the Phantom Ruby prototypes only react to the person who activated it. That must be you, buddy. Hmm? Your courage and heroism are probably what triggered it. So, theoretically, Sonic could have activated it as well? Isn't his whole thing that he's courageous and heroic? What makes us so special? Three, two, one, zero. Eggman, let me level with you right quick. Say, for example, your planet worked. The sun wiped everyone out. How do you win if you're dead along with everyone else you tried to kill? How is that a victory? Because you would have died too, right? What, is the Phantom Ruby selective of who it affects? Impossible! I thought all the prototypes were destroyed! See, the word prototype leads me to believe that Eggman created the Phantom Rubies, right? If so, why wouldn't you own all the Phantom Ruby prototypes? You created them! Why would they be scattered? If a prototype doesn't work, just store it in a place for safekeeping. You did plenty already? What did they do? They were fighting, lost several times, mind you, and now they're running away. Our forces haven't helped in the slightest. What would you like your epitaph to read? How about, here lies the game of food. Why not, here doses the masked clown. Wow, Sonic, that was like the worst comeback I've ever heard. That was the equivalent of, I know you are, but what am I? Holy shit, this is just the Metal Sonic boss fight again. Impossible. I cannot be defeated. For someone who can't be defeated, we've defeated you three times now. Wrong, loser. The things that can't be defeated are heart, soul, and the bonds of friendship. My friends are my power cliche. No, wait. I can still fight. <laughs> and that was infinite, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm serious. We never see him again. Sonic lost to him the first time because he had his phantom copies of Shadow, Chaos, Metal Sonic, and Zabok. Why didn't he try that again? Huh. Even Infinite's friends are his power. This is where Eggman built Infinite. He didn't build Infinite! Infinite is just a dude with a mask with the powers of the Phantom Ruby! Right? That's what we were shown in episode Shadow! Of course not, you haven't even collected the Chaos Emeralds- Wait a second, if Eggman conquered the world, didn't anyone ever think to go look for the Chaos Emeralds? Why? They've always stopped Eggman's plans, why isn't collecting them priority number f***ing one? The fortress reactor was just a decoy! Oh my god, how many times are they gonna try to pull the rug out from under us? What have you done? <laughs> I merely incorporated the Phantom Ruby into this Death Egg robot. But... That means the Phantom Ruby no longer has a vulnerable energy supply. How and why? There's always been a way to weaken it. Wasn't Eggman all intimidated when we blew up the Death Egg? Okay, I need to bring attention to this. Look at the phases of the Death Egg robot. Classic Sonic is hitting back the rocks that Eggman's throwing at him in order to break his shield, just like in the Egg Dragoon fight, by the way. And original, the character is using the grappling hook they have to attack the robot's cockpit. Now, I don't claim to be a Sonic the Hedgehog expert, but I'm pretty sure that if Classic Sonic can just use a spin attack to return the rocks back at the robot, a homing attack is probably way more effective. And if all we're doing during the original The Character section is attacking the cockpit with the equivalent of the homing attack, 
Why doesn't Modern Sonic handle all of this? Even the boost section at the end, are you telling me Modern Sonic can't handle three different targets? There's no reason classic and original the character need to be here. There's nothing the three of us can't achieve together. Victory is ours for the taking. Triple boost! Again, you can't really call it triple boost if two out of the three characters can't boost. Man, this should have been an emotional moment, but Tails and Classic Sonic barely showed any sort of real friendship. They had more of a chaperone relationship towards each other. Cheer up, Tails. I'm sure we'll run into him again. Sonic Team's way of telling us, yes, Classic Sonic's coming back, so there's no reason to consider the special anymore. Alright guys, it's time we cleaned up the mess that Eggman left this world in. And I'm not talking about those illusions he dreamed up for us. We need to fix the real world we all live in. Are they really trying to give us the whole we need to fix the real world speech? I get it. This series has always been about nature versus technology, but it was never this in your face about it. We need to fix the real world we all live in. True that. True that. Okay then. Let's get ready to do this. We'll show that creep the real superpower of teamwork. What, you're leaving us? There are others who need your help. I don't think I quite understand the direction that sentence was going in. The subtitles tell me Knuckles assumes that other people need our help elsewhere, but his voice is telling us other people need our help around here. You did good out there. It's not like you just waited till the last minute to come in and act all cool to save your day. Wow, even Rouge is calling out Omega for being a deus ex- Wait a second, was Omega supposed to be a literal deus ex machina? That was a pretty shitty execution if that's the case. All he does is appear, shoot at Infinite, miss, and then... Nothing. Infinite goes on with what it was doing anyway. Our battle is done, and our resistance has come to a conclusion. But we'll be friends forever. A single person cannot restore the entire world. We have to work together and make a diligent effort. <sighs> I don't know what's sadder. The fact that they're drilling in the whole we have to fix up the earth together thing or the fact that they have to keep drilling it in because we as a species just don't listen. Hey, you're taking off too? I was thinking the same thing. Wait, you're not gonna stick around to rebuild everything Eggman destroyed with the rest of your friends? Yeah. Ass. Speaking of Eggman, what happened to him? Did we just leave him to die in null space? Ah, uh, he's escaped the vacuum of space and the void of time before. I'm sure he'll be okay. You and I aren't so different. I'm pretty sure that was Sonic Team's way of telling you that your OC is just a Sonic copycat. You cut deep, Sonic Team. You cut deep. And that was Spider-Man Homecoming. Can I go now? I am not weak! Hey guys, Shara5 here. Thanks so much for watching my Cinema 6 parody of Everything Wrong with Sonic Forces. Incredibly lost potential of a story that should have been great and a game that should have been greater. You guys should head on over to CinemaSynth, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out Everything Wrong with Sonic Heroes? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char 5 signing off. Okay, time for Sony. Time for Zoniku. Okay, my friend. Oh my. Hello. What day is it? You. Come to me. Become his. Okay. Oh, I am not about to take shit from a six-year-old bee that doesn't even know what a top-secret disc looks like when they're literally floating all... Shit, I almost got that on the first try. Okay, here comes the big one. Oh my god, I need to fucking... Okay. Classic Sonic's Chemical Plan Zone music is just Survivor's Eye of the Tiger. I can't believe I said that on the first fucking try. <laughs> god damn it, which is it? Did you make the Phantom Ruby or not? If you made it, how does it just do something on its own? Why does it have random rules? The Phantom do... The Phantom Doobie. You smoke that shit! <laughs> you say that in reference to there being nothing in Null Space, but yeah, literally nothing happened. You got sucked. You got sucked and then double boosted out. <laughs> I think I meant to say you got sucked in. <laughs> you got sucked and then you double boosted out. <laughs>
<laughs> okay. You say that in reference to being sucked. You say that in reference to being sucked, but. <laughs> and if all we're doing during the original, the character, the section, the section, <laughs> Sonic Team's way of telling us, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was Spider-Man Homecoming. And that was Spider-Man Homecoming. Can I go now?